Hello and welcome to part 7 of the Amati Aro gun board and in this part we will work on staining all the wood which I have started already and we also will work on the two rotating cannons what are the trademark for this uh, model so first let us stain the wood and how we do this I will show you in the following video before I start any paintwork, I will scuff up the whole model with scotch Bright. And why I'm using scotch Bright for this? Because the scotch Bright works like little uh, knives. Uh, and this will take care that all the fuzzy fibers of the wood will be gone. So as you can see I finished all the staining and also put some varnish on the model but it's still not finished yet because I have to seal up this whole process. But before we do this we have to uh, make the waterline because the uh, lower part of the boat will be painted in white and for this reason we have to draw first the waterline. And how we do this I will show you now. The most important thing is we have to put the model upside down on an even surface. That's very important. The best thing what you can do is uh, put it on a glass table because that's absolutely smooth and even. Then we have to get the measurements from the plan and in this case that's 50 millimeters from the lower, uh, lowest part of the keel uh, to the waterline. So next what we have to do, we have to fix a, a, a pencil or whatever you like to use on uh, a piece of wood. And uh, what you can see in the picture looks maybe a little bit unprofessional but it's uh, in reality it's very effective because we, if you don't have something like this, you can make it for yourself for this specific model and it works. So we have now the, uh, adjust the height on the stern and on the bow so that we, if we draw the line that we uh, have it continuous and this is already it. We make the line and the water line is finished. Okay, so there's one last thing. When we tape the water line, I'm using Tamiya masking tape because I still think that's one of the best masking tapes you can buy. Uh, make sure that the tape sits firm on the wood and uh, you have to press it in the wood so because the last thing what we want is that the color will run under the uh, masking tape and we have a run under the tape that will be not easy to remove after painting
So now there is everything painted and stained. Uh, we can now seal up the work up to this point what we have done. And I'm using for this pledge wipe and shine. Why I'm using wipe and shine? Because it's an inexpensive and durable and fast drying acrylic uh, top coat. And it has the same sheen as a semi gloss varnish. But it's much cheaper than this. So for me this is just enough to put a little shine on the model. Okay, so also the clear coat is now finished and um, as you can see I think that I really hit the uh, color scheme on the box art. So the next thing what we're doing is the two rotating guns and um, we start with the base and in this step they like us to insert this 2mm plywood uh, piece in the in this hardwood uh, uh, piece and uh, as you can see it's really loose in there this uh, serves also as the base for the planks and uh, when we plank this now we have to estimate that we have a little bit excess on the edges so that we can fit this with a zero clearance in this base So next step what we have to do is to install these little eyelets or eye bolts and there are six of them, there are two, four, five, six and we have to make sure that one of these two braces are not glued in because later on we have to remove it and to insert the sledge where the cannon is sitting on.
So, okay, you can see that I made some modifications of this because they have the problem. After we assemble this ledge and also the cannon, we have to disassemble this because we want to stain the wood and we want to paint the cannon. So that's why it has to be removable. And this is what I was showing before. I beveled the two edges of the, the, the top, top edge of the hinges so that I can slide the uh, stern cannon in this hinges so that makes it removable and the other cannon the bolster uh, cannon these two hinges are also removable because I drilled only the holes and then I can remove the nails and then after this I can remove the two uh, braces of the on the top of this hinge so that makes this more workable So after painting the two cannons in flat black and dry brushing it with a bronze color and after this uh, topping it up with uh, wipe and shine uh, the cannons are now finished and in the next part we will work already on the two masts and on the sails. So stay tuned for that.